She is the brightness of eternal light and the unspotted mirror of God's majesty and the image of his goodness. From the Book of Wisdom. Mirrors reflect an image. The closer the image is to reality, the better the mirror is constructed with less impurities and imperfections. In our fallen state, St. Paul says, For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall understand fully, even as I have been fully understood. Mary is indeed a perfect reflection of the purity, sanctity, and strength of Almighty God. The priest St. John Eudes offers a beautiful reflection on the hearts of Mary, mirror of God's strength and purity, which I will leave a link for in the description. The saint implores us. If you would find a place in the sanctuary of Mary's admirable heart, which so perfectly mirrors the purity and sanctity of the Most High, you must purify your heart and realize the meaning of the words, This is the will of God, your sanctification. Mary's soul magnifies the Lord. All she has and all she is belongs to the Lord and is in his service. She is the prototypical evangelist who brings Christ forth for the salvation of fallen man, whose souls proclaims the greatness of the Lord and spirit rejoices in God her Savior. Everything she said and did is a testimony to God's love. She is our model as evangelists, evangelists that we are all called to be through our baptism. Mary demonstrates the virtues we need of humility, obedience, authentic witness, joyful praise, and a personal encounter with God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. I will close with the words of St. Louis de Montfort. Mary is the sure means, the direct and immaculate way to Jesus, and the perfect guide to him. It is through her that souls who are to shine forth in sanctity must find him. He who finds Mary finds life, that is, Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life.